Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 340. Today we have a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. I think you're going to like it. There's some tough questions, there's some easy questions, there's some right in the middle, a perfect mix of questions today. 20 up front, there's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode. If you need to stick around for that, let's get started. Question number one. Which 1975 musical horror movie takes place after the two main characters, Brad and Janet, get a flat tire and are stranded near a castle on a stormy night? It stars Richard O'Brien, Susan Sarandon, and Tim Curry as Frankenfurter. The answer is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Question number two. Which French monarch who was found guilty of treason in 1793 due to his unwillingness to cede his royal power to the revolutionary government was the husband to Marie Antoinette and was executed via guillotine on January 21, 1793? The answer is Louis the 16th. Question number three, which 1854 novel written by English author Elizabeth Gaskell follows the protagonist Margaret Hale as she adapts to life in the industrial city of Milton and falls in love with self-made mill owner John Thornton, the man who her father tutors. That novel is called North and South. Question number four. Which German Formula One driver, born in 1987, won the World Drivers' Championship four consecutive times in 2010, 11, 12, and 13, all under the team Red Bull, and eventually retired at the end of the 2022 season under Aston Martin? His name was Sebastian Vettel. Question number five. Which river, after the Volga, is the second longest river in Europe at 1,771 miles and is located in Central and Eastern Europe and runs through 10 different countries, including Austria, Slovakia, Romania, Hungary, and Croatia? The answer is the Danube. Question number six, which American football player was born in 1989 and is an American football tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs of the National Football League and is considered to be one of the greatest tight ends in American football of all time? I think there's a little bias in this question. He's the only tight end that most people have ever heard of. The answer is Travis Kelsey. Question number seven. What is the last name of the two brothers, Joseph Michael and Jacques Etienne, who were notable for their invention of the hot air balloon on September 19, 1783, thus being the first aerostatic flight in history? The hot air balloon was invented by the Montgolfier brothers. Question number eight. What is the name of the third and final volume of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, published in 1955 following The Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers, which later was turned into a 2003 movie directed by Peter Jackson?
The answer is The Return of the King. Question number nine. What is the name of the 1953 play by American playwright Arthur Miller that is a dramatized story of the Salem witch trials and features characters such as Reverend Hale, John Proctor, Elizabeth Proctor, and Tituba? The answer is The Crucible. Question number 10. If you were to combine two words, meaning the day before something, such as a holiday like Christmas or Halloween, and to take a break from something, such as work, you would create which world-famous notable Asian landmark? Little wordplay for you. The day before something would be Eve, to take a break would be rest. You put those together, you got Everest. Mount Everest. Question number 11. What is the German word commonly used in literature referring to a novel dealing with one person's formative years that explores the manner in which the protagonist develops morally and psychologically, an example of this being the Harry Potter series? If the word you're thinking of is not a very German word, then you are incorrect. This word is called the Bildungsroman. Question 12. Which actor, a member of the famous English comedy troupe Monty Python, portrayed the protagonist King Arthur in the 1975 movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail and passed away at the age of 48 in 1989? The answer is Graham Chapman. Question number 13. What is the name of the Roman goddess of wisdom, medicine, commerce, war, poetry, and the arts in general, who was the patron god of the Quinquatrian festival in ancient Rome and is the Roman counterpart to Athena? The answer is Minerva. Question 14. Which American author, born July 21, 1899 in Illinois, is most famous for his work such as The Old Man in the Sea, For Whom the Bell Tolls, A Farewell to Arms, and The Sun Also Rises? The answer is Ernest Hemingway. Question 15. Which art movement, which is still used today, was developed in the early 1900s by Pablo Picasso and George Brock and is defined by its revolutionary method of depicting three-dimensional reality through geometrical shapes on a two-dimensional canvas? The answer is Cubism. Question number 16. Which Spanish-born Formula One racing driver born July 29, 1981 holds the record for the most race starts ever in the sport and is most famous for his two Formula One World Championships, one he got in 2005 and the other in 2006? Back-to-back -back world champion What's his name? The answer is Fernando Alonso. Question number 17. What is the name of the high school in the 1997 horror TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer, starring Sarah Michelle Gellar as the protagonist Buffy, 
Allison Hannigan as Willow, and Nicholas Brendan as Xander. We just had a Buffy the Vampire Slayer question yesterday. It must have been a more popular show than I thought it was. The answer is Sunnydale High School. Question number 18. Lines from this poet's works are commonly translated as Should all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind and The best laid plans of mice and men oft go awry. Who is this Scottish poet who wrote Auld Lang Syne and To a Mouse? It's about that time of the year for Robert Burns poems. Question number 19. This biblical man earned the jealous rage of King Saul by defeating many Philistines, beginning with Goliath. What was the name of this man who later succeeded Saul as king of Israel and was the father of Solomon? The answer is David. And question 20. Which Irish rock band that was formed in Limerick in 1989 rose to international fame with their debut album Everybody Else Is Doing It So Why Can't We and are well known for their hit singles such as Dreams and Zombie? The answer is the Cranberries. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode. Check back tomorrow. We'll have another random knowledge trivia quiz. I think tomorrow's is from Trish and Tom. If you want to get in on these uh, road trip kits, but you don't want to write any trivia, check out the description down below. We're doing the 12 days of road trip via Christmas on eBay. I'm just going to auction off the last 12 of these uh, road trip kits, number 100 through 111. So the link for one of them will be down in the description below. You can find it on eBay if you'd like to just buy one without having to write all the tough trivia. Here comes question 21, the tiebreaker for today. William Shakespeare was an English playwright and a poet active in the 16th and 17th century and is most famous for his plays such as Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, and Hamlet. Shakespeare is believed to have written how many plays? Shakespeare is believed to have written 38 plays. Whichever player got closest to 38 is going to win the point. Congratulations. They won the point. And if it was a tiebreaker, a real legitimate tiebreaker, whoever won the point just won the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.